it's Chris. Today's video, uh, we're going to be talking about two very important and super interesting archangels. Um, and these are the archangels Metatron and Sandalphon. These are two very unique archangels because they are the only two archangels that were once human men. Metatron is actually the man Enoch described in the Bible as never having died. And Sandalphon is actually the man Elijah, who, as we know, was taken up in a chariot of fire, which is just another way to describe an interdimensional experience that occurred. But they are the only two archangels that are really intimately acquainted with what it means to be a human being, to be in this particular realm, to be in this particular energy. In addition, they're the only two angels who ascended. The other archangels were created in the first phase of creation. They came right out of source energy, but Metatron and Sandalphon ascended as a result of their vibration. And as I'm always talking about, we too are in the process of ascension. Now, I'm not suggesting that as human beings, we are going to ascend into the archangelic because I don't believe that that's possible and going to happen. I do know though that we are presently enlightening. We are awakening and we are encountering ascended energy in this particular dimension that is changing us. We call this the ascension because Metatron and Sandalphon have ascended, they can help us to do the same. So anybody out there right now who is really interested in partnering with the process of ascension or their own enlightenment would really do well to call upon Metatron and Sandalphon to help them to do that. In addition to that, Metatron and Sandalphon, although mostly Metatron is really interested in working with the light workers of the planet, people who understand what's happening, people who are turned on and activated and enlightened, and who also want to help others to transform and to change and to enlighten. If you're a light worker out there who understands that you have a higher calling on your life and that you want to use your life in service to spirit and love and, and that which we believe in, then you would greatly benefit from working with Metatron and Sandalphon. Now, how do we work with Metatron and Sandalphon? Well, it's actually pretty easy because anytime we move in the direction of spirit, especially when that's coupled with service, which is, you know, what like workers do, we're of service. Anytime we do that, spirit always meets us right where we are. It always rewards us for our intentional move in the direction of source energy. And so when we ask Metatron and Sandalphon to come to us, they absolutely will. Now there is a specific protocol that I want to share with you when working with angels. And I've covered this in other videos and I'm not going to go into it too much, but don't forget to follow these three steps anytime you want to work with an angel. One, you want to invoke the angel, which simply means you want to call the angel. You can use a fiat, which is a type of prayer or an arrangement of powerful words that calls the angel and it will come. Or you can just make your own fiat or your own invocation. Anytime you call them by name and hook into their energy, they will come. Second, and this is the really important part, don't forget to give angels permission to work with you because this is a free will dimension. We are allowed to make choices about our own lives, bodies, and decisions, and things that we wanna do in this life. And angels aren't ever gonna just barge in, change it all up, and tell us what we've gotta do. They're very gentle, and they're very soft with their guidance and their positioning, unless and until we give them specific permission to work dynamically and evidentially in our life. So first we call them, Second, we give them permission and, and give them access to our lives. And third, we give them a task. We essentially tell them what it is we want them to do for us. And in this case, as light workers, we want to ask these two angels to help us in our own personal understanding and our process of ascension, and also to bring those people to us that we are able to bless or who can bless us. So if you're interested in, in doing that work, I really encourage you to make contact with these two angels because I do believe they can help us to make this ascension process and this enlightenment process a lot easier, not just for ourselves, but for others as well.